Welcome to the Big Picture Retirement Show, where you'll learn what it really takes to have a successful retirement. With over 20 years of experience, your host, Rick Rivera of Safeguard Investment Advisory Group has seen it all and is here to help you achieve your retirement dreams. This is the Big Picture Retirement Show. Welcome into the Big Picture Retirement Show with Rick Rivera. I'm Mark Elliott. Glad you're with us today. Rick is a partner at Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, has over 20 years of experience in the financial industry. And Safeguard is all about helping you come up with your big picture blueprint, your picture for your retirement. What are you going to do? How are you going to spend your time? Are you traveling? Are you staying here? You need a new car? What are you looking forward to in retirement? The bucket list items and all of that. You need an income plan. You need an investment strategy. You need a tax efficient strategy. You need health care, long term care planning, legacy planning. What about Social Security and Medicare? Well, Social Security is in the income part, Medicare is in the health care part. A lot of moving pieces. If you have questions, you're like, well, I don't have that kind of a plan for my retirement. Well, then talk with the team at Safeguard. There's no cost for this whatsoever. It's 800 700 1980. Give them a call. Might be one of the more important phone calls you make. 800 700 1980. And then you can always find out more about Safeguard just by going to the website, safeguardinvestment.com, safeguardinvestment.com. Hey, Rick, how are you? Real good. Thanks, Mark. Uh, we're going to talk about a lot of things today. On the, we're going to talk about some topics that really should be something to think about on your retirement planning list. So to-do list. Are you a to-do list person? Is your wife a to-do list person? Do you have a uh, big to-do yeah, yeah, she gives me to-do lists, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> Do you have a time limit? <laughs> a to-do list for me, not for her. Right. <laughs> so anything that she needs done, she gives. She puts a to-do list for me. You know, and, and one of some of the challenges with a to-do list, some are great, right, if you give uh -huh. two or three. But if she gave you 20 things to do, I'm thinking you're going to look at that with a bad attitude. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, it goes right into the trash. Exactly. So we need to be clear and concise. We don't need a whole overwhelming list of things. But when you think about retirement and what you and the team, you and Reed and Eddie do for your clients at Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, are there topics that kind of kind of maybe stand out among others in the retirement planning world? Yeah, I would think probably, you know, um, income for sure off the top of my head. Obviously, health care, long term care, taxes. I mean, just the first three just popped into my head as, you know, as we're talking right now. So when you're building that big picture blueprint, is is that kind of where it starts with the income side? We've got to replace the paychecks are no longer coming in? 100%. And, and here's a, a key thing that I want to mention, you know, Mark, it's, it's one thing for someone to feel they won that comfortable retirement. It's another thing for them to be able to maintain it. And if I can give you an example about about the income, because here's where you know people may get overly confident right at the beginning. If I can take you back to like 2007, you know the market was peaking back then, and a lot of people you know went to these brokers, whatever, and and one of the big things was you know there's something called the four percent rule that basically says as long as you're pulling four percent uh, of your money out, it'll, it'll last you forever. The challenge is that a lot of um, this information that people are getting out there are old antiquated rules that don't work anymore. And um, if you think about it, you know, people back in 07, they were retiring. They're like, okay, great. Um, I got the income I need. I won the comfortable retirement. Their brokers ran them their Monte Carlo simulations and said, hey, as long as you're using the 4% rule, you're good. 08 occurs. And if your account is down 10 and you're pulling out four, you're now down 14. You can't exactly call the you know electric company, phone company and say, listen, can I put you off until the market rebounds again? So now going into the next year, you still need another four to live on. So now you're down 18. So now you're actually making the problem worse. And this is why we've seen a lot of people back in, you know, 07, 08, 09, they ended up going back to work again. So, you know, again, this is a scenario where if people are using old antiquated rules, they no longer work. So it's, so income planning is key in retirement to make sure that going forward, not only can we guarantee the income that, that under any economic condition, we our income is guaranteed, but we also have to be in a position where we can make sure that income will keep up with inflation. And then also something else that plays a, a factor in here that many people don't even realize is that if one spouse predeceases the other, hey, we may lose a social security check or part of a pension check. And how do we make up those differences? So there's a lot that goes into it. And unfortunately, a lot of people are using old antiquated rules that don't work anymore. That 4% rule was, was created over 30 years ago. Yeah. Things are different. 
Yeah, I think Bill well, Bingen is the one that that uh, started that four percent rule, and he did a lot of research. And but it was in the nineties. He oh, is you even, know your stuff. Yeah, he's even oh, come out. I'm come surprised out. you brought up that name. I didn't realize you knew it. <laughs> he's even come <laughs> back since and said, "Hey, the four percent rule is perfect in the nineties. Uh, uh-huh. It doesn't work in today's world." Now there are probably some people that could pull four percent and be okay, but the numbers are less. And and that four percent rule today is well, it might work for you. But there is no guarantee. So it's really – that's why you sit down with a team like Safeguard to figure out what can you pull because your working years are your accumulation phase, right? You're working, you're saving, and you're hoping someday to be able to retire to the lifestyle that you had during your working years and maintain it and do the things you want to do. That's what the team at Safeguard is all about is helping you figure that out. How much income do you need? Uh, how do we have increasing income with inflation and things kind of double in price in 20 years probably during your retirement? Income is where it starts. The big picture blueprint covers a lot of areas, but it does start with income. 800-700-1980. And if you'd like to find out more about some of the challenges in retirement and some of the positives from retirement, uh, Rick and the team at Safeguard have created this toolkit for you. It's got a lot of different topics in it. Might be taxes, could be Social Security. Uh, But it's got these retirement guides for you, and it's just there for your information. All you have to do is text the word TOOLKIT to 951-667-4969. Text the word toolkit, 951-667-4969, and you'll get all this. It's it's a great opportunity for you just to educate yourself. Plus, you're going to get Reed's webinar of 30 minutes, and it's really the presentation that, that Rick and Reed and the team do at their presentations. It's an hour and a half, cut it down to 30 minutes, really hitting the high point. So a lot of things come with this. Just text the word toolkit, no cost, 951-667. 49.69. You know, one of the challenges, Rick, and, and certainly in Southern California, rent and buying a home, it's really cheap. It's not expensive at all. How do, how do we know if we've saved enough to retire? Because it probably depends on what's your location, where you're going to be, where you're going to live, uh, how much, you, you know, if you have your house paid off. I mean, there's a lot of moving parts here. How do we know, you know, the old commercial, I think it was, what, ING? Hey, what's your number? That's your number? Yeah, that's what they say. That's my number. I suppose we do have a number. But how do we figure that out? You know what? Um, That's by having a plan. And the challenge is that if you're going to be saving and putting money away and planning for retirement in a vacuum without a plan, that's where people get into trouble because they'll, they'll wait till, you know, the day that they're retiring, think, okay, great. Let me, let me put together a plan now. And then they find out, wait a minute, hold on. Maybe I don't have enough to maintain the standard of living that I want in retirement. I was just, you know, pulling 10% out of my paycheck for many years because that's what the internet told me to do. Or I was doing this because uh, this is what some, you know, uh, something that I read in a book and it wasn't specific to their situation. So unfortunately we do see retirees from time to time that when they retire, they find out, Hey, wait a minute, I now have to make a choice. If I want to be able to travel and do some of the things I want to do, maybe now I have to sell my principal residence and move out of state or move someplace where, you know, I have to downsize so I can afford to do some of the things I truly want to do. Where if the plan, the earlier we start, the earlier we start our planning, then, you know, the better prepared we're we're going to be. So I think that whether you are retired right now or maybe you're planning for retirement, either way, by sitting down with a professional they can, you know, look at your overall situation and and figure out what areas you can enhance. And I think the earlier we do our planning, the better when it comes to stuff like that. And I wouldn't get caught by surprise. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, you think of the big picture blueprint. There's a lot of things moving parts and it's a plan. You first have to sit down with a single person, a divorced person, a widow or widower, a married couple. Everybody's situation is unique. And then you have to figure out, okay, how can we help them? And can we help them? Then if you can help them, that's up to them. Do they want your help? But at the end of the day, there's a lot of give and take. You have to know, understand their really their lifestyle and what they want to do and all of that. It's not the pie chart retirement where, hey, all you have to do is just call me. If you need some of your money, just call me and we'll send you a check. That's maybe the 90s way to retire. Would that be right. fair to say? Yeah, totally. You're 100% right on that, uh, Mark. Again, it's, it's going to require a plan and understanding the individual and, you know, if you can be put in a situation where you don't have to make compromises, you know, why not? And, um, you know, you just can't, you just can't put it off. At the end of the day, when you're thinking about your retirement and you think about income, 
And that's one of the questions, right? Do I have enough to be able to retire? Will mm -hmm. my money last as long as I or we need it to? Those are big, big questions. Can we retire and maintain our lifestyle? Are we going to be okay if we retire? That's really what we want to know. Well, that's exactly what Safeguard Investment Advisory Group is all about, helping you create your big picture blueprint, income, investment, taxes, healthcare, legacy planning. And it's all, all five pillars are the same for all the clients, but what goes inside depends upon whom they're sitting down with. It is about you. What do you want to do? How are you going to spend your time? What do you need? What are you hoping to do? Are you going to need a new car? Are you going to downsize, which may not be cheaper, but you need to. I, everybody's situation is unique, and that's how Rick and the team look at it. They are here to help if they can. Again, it's 800-700-1980. 15-minute phone call. There's no cost. There's no obligation. There is no pressure for this whatsoever. This, I, I think it might be one of the most important phone calls you make, actually having an actual retirement plan to give you confidence and clarity moving forward. 800-700-1980. So we talked about, Rick said there's three really big things right off the top of his head that he thinks about when it comes to the retirement planning list. Income, that's what we talked about. The next segment, we're going to touch on the other two, health care slash long-term care, and then taxes. One of the biggest question marks that all of us have really moving forward since we're in the IRA 401k retirement world. That's not like our grandparents who retired with pensions. Most of us today don't. There's still some out there. Congratulations if you've got one. But it's a different thing. So we're going to touch on health care and taxes when we come back right here on the Big Picture Retirement Show with Rick Rivera of Safeguard Investment Advisory Group. You're listening to the Big Picture Retirement Show with Rick Rivera. For more information about Rick and the Safeguard Investment Advisory Group team, go to safeguardinvestment.com. While you're there, you can also download educational retirement guides and sign up for an upcoming seminar. That's safeguardinvestment.com. Now, back to the podcast. Welcome back to the Big Picture Retirement Show with Rick Rivera of Safeguard Investment Advisory Group. And don't forget, if you'd like the retirement toolkit, the retirement guides, the webinar, uh, all you have to do is text the word toolkit to 951-667-4969. You'll get all of that, no cost, no obligation to you. It's really there for your information. Just text the word toolkit to 951-667-4969. 4969. I'm Mark Elliott. You want to find out more about Rick and the team, you can always go to the website, safeguardinvestment.com. All right. You know, Rick, uh, you think of Thanksgiving, you probably don't bring up to certain topics at the dinner table, right? There are topics we don't really, or not real comfortable talking about. We're going to talk about a top five taboo topics in retirement that you're probably not going to bring up. And maybe you should, though, bring up with your kids. And so they kind of have an idea of what you're expecting. But here we go. We're just going to talk, and I'm, I'm going to throw these out here, and then you discuss the importance of planning for this for retirement. The first one, I don't think there's any question about it. We're not going to really talk too much about death probably at the dinner table, but thinking about death and dying is very difficult in general, and it's certainly not a fun conversation to have, Rick, when you'd rather be talking about all the fun parts of retirement, right? But it is important, right? Oh, no, absolutely. And, you know, here's the thing. You know, a lot of times you know, I always hear it, you know, the kids really don't want to talk about it with their parents, which I get it, you know, it's a tough topic, but they should have some basics and understand, hey, if something should happen to mom and dad, here's some things that need to be, you know, considered. The other thing that needs to be taken into consideration as well is, is the client situation. Do we want to make sure this estate avoids probate to make things easier for the kids? Or God forbid, they have like a um, special needs child and, and, and maybe they need to make sure there's some provisions set up for that child. If we don't uh, plan for that, you know, you could be putting that child in a bad spot, especially if they're receiving governmental benefits. There's ways to plan where they can still get their benefits without, you know, sacrificing the benefits that they're receiving uh, based on their inheritance. But one of the big things that, that I would say, Mark, and I don't mean to drag this on, is more importantly, is between husband and wife that both understand what is going on uh, financially. Because so many times I will see people, you know, um, spouses, one person handles all the finances, the other one doesn't. And then when one spouse passes away, the one that wasn't dealing with the uh, investments is kind of caught in a little bit of a pickle. So, yeah, it's very important that that all d does get addressed. Yeah, that's certainly a part of the big picture blueprint is that legacy planning. Because you think about it, if you're married and you lose a spouse, you're going to lose, besides the emotional trauma, obviously, hey, you know, the government says, congratulations, you're married 50 years, 
and we'll let you file your taxes in the year your spouse passed as a in joint married joint. But next year you got to file as a single person, so your taxes are yeah, going to go up. Yeah, that's a very good point yeah. that you're making. Yeah. Absolutely, your taxes go up, and then you're going to lose the lower of the two social securities, keep the higher, and then if you had a pension, maybe you lose some or all of that. So there's a lot of whammies here. That'd be a great time to call if you haven't put any of these these things together yet. 800-700-1980 to chat with Rick and the team at Safeguard about putting a plan in place. You know, will or trust? Do I need both? How do I do that? What about uh, powers of attorney, financial health care? There's a lot of moving parts, and certainly the team at Safeguard can help. Number four in our list of taboo topics is mental health. Are you seeing that as a bigger deal, you know, today than you did when you started in this business? Well, it's important to plan for it. You know, let's face it, as time goes on, we don't know what's going to happen. And um, it's important to have someone that can actually handle financial affairs for you, make medical decisions for you in the event that, God forbid, you can't do it yourself. And, um, you know, it could even be a scenario where, you know, you're in the hospital and maybe you need the kids to step in and handle financial affairs. If they don't have the power of attorney for healthcare asset management, they won't be able to do it. And even if they do have the power to do it, it's very important that we actually, you know, give them some sort of instructions as to how to handle things if, God forbid, you can't do it yourself. So, for example, last thing you want them to do is, you know, be pulling money out of your IRAs or, or, or closing out a CD where you're getting hit with penalties to pay the light bill. You know, so you may want to instruct them, hey, listen, you know what, for the personal bills, you know, take it out of this account. Uh, you know, maybe for the rentals, you know, pull the money out of that account. You know, you may even have certain situations. I, I have a wife that she's got a cat that needs two insulin injections a day. You know, so she makes sure that, you know, the family knows, hey, listen, something happens to me. You know, no Sydney needs two CCs in the morning, two CCs at night. You know, what if you're taking care of an elderly parent? You know, maybe they need to know, hey, here's the medications they're taking. So it's very important that, that we definitely um, plan for those types of things or at least give whoever is going to be backing us up some sort of direction so they're just not, you know, in the cold, so to speak. Yeah, absolutely. So number three on our list of taboo topics in retirement is divorce. Over the past 30 years, the divorce rate after age 50 has doubled in the U.S. So you're you're dealing with a lot of blended families, too, I would imagine, when you're creating that big picture blueprint. Yeah. um, You know, gosh, we can go so many directions with this. It's it's well, number one, obviously, if you get a divorce, you know, you know, let's face it. um, Let's say you got a couple that was expecting, hey, you know what, in retirement, you know, between the two of us, you know, we're going to get eight grand a month. And now that we're getting divorced, now we got to split everything up. But now, as a single person, I, now I'm only going to get four thousand dollars a month because we got to split up the pensions, we got to split up the assets, and maybe we got to sell the house. You know, let's say you sell the house for six hundred grand, you split up the equity, you each get three hundred thousand. Now you're like, okay, what am I going to do with this three hundred thousand? Where am I going to go and buy a place for three hundred grand? Especially living in California, you know, maybe I won't be able to live in the same you know location. I mean, so many different things things have to be looked at, you know, when somebody uh, gets a divorce that, yeah, those, those are very tough, very tough. Yeah. And it's certainly one of the things that, I mean, it's just kind of a a normal thing in today's world. It wasn't in our grandparents' time, I don't think as much, certainly now, but all of this, this is why the team at Safeguard Investment Advisory Group and Rick Rivera and the team have created the text the word toolkit. If you'd like retirement guides and the webinar, which gives you a little bit more insight into Safeguard and how they handle some of these topics, Uh, just text the word toolkit to 951-667-4969. There's no cost for this. Uh, Just text the word toolkit to 951-667-4969. 4969. All right, down to the final two topics we'll talk about before we wrap up today's show. The next one is relationships. And you could probably go a lot of different ways there too, but retirement can have an impact on your relationship with your spouse, with your kids, your grandkids. I had a friend of mine that his dad had a heart attack and now was at home and the mom was a stay-at-home mom. And she's like, would you get him out from underneath me? He's around all the time. It's different. Yeah, for sure. And and kind of, you know, going back to the relationship thing, um, think about second marriages, like you were saying earlier, it kind of goes to divorce, but also relationship. You know, sometimes I have I have scenarios where on second marriages where, you know, uh, one spouse maybe has more assets than the other. And they know, hey, listen, if I pass away, I want my spouse to at least be able to live in the home while I'm, you know, while I'm gone. And then afterwards, then my kids can get it. But they want to make sure the assets are going to their kids and they don't want it to go to you know, the other spouse's kids. So a lot of these things when it comes to relation can get pretty sticky. And um, the point that I want to make is that because we specialize in this area, 
we've seen so many different scenarios that we can actually, you know, sit down with somebody, figure out what they really want to accomplish and give them ideas and strategies to help resolve this. Because let's face it, when you get into a second marriage, some of these topics are even hard to talk about. So we can bring up things, bring up ideas that maybe you never thought about before. And you don't have to feel like the bad guy bringing it up. You know, that's what we do. Yeah, I think that's a great point because in the in your planning that you do with your clients at Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, you kind of you're talking about this. And so you're putting it down. It's not a surprise to anybody. Hey, here's the situation. If this happens, we're going to go this way. If that happens, we're going that way. It's really important to talk about all this before instead of just leaving it up to so you pass away and now things go not where you wanted it to. You, can, you have control if you don't wait too long to do all of this. We, we're not, none of us are guaranteed tomorrow. I think a great time to call the team at Safeguard would be right now, 800-700-1980, to really get this kind of stuff in place. Uh, it doesn't mean it won't change down the road. It certainly could. It's not written in stone, but it gives you a, kind of a baseline, takes a little pressure off, gives you a little bit of clarity, gives your family some clarity as well. 800-700-1980. My guess is if I said, all right, there's five taboo topics in retirement that we don't really talk, touch on that often, and, then, and I said, okay, there's death, there's mental health, there's divorce, there's relationships. I bet you could guess what the number one taboo topic is. Can you? Money. Is that Money. what you're going to tell me? Money it is, yes. Why yeah, is and, that? And, yeah, and, 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 you know, just, you know, briefly, and kind of brings me back uh, to what I was talking about a little bit earlier. When it comes to money, especially among spouses, I can't tell you how many times I hear, hey, you know, my wife or my spouse, you know, they don't want to deal with it. You know, they just let me handle all that. And the challenge is if something happens to you, you're putting that spouse in a bad spot. So I guess the, the scenario would be and the suggestion that I can give people is if you have a spouse that's really not involved with the money and doesn't want to be involved with it, they don't need to know the schematics of the engine. They don't have to be able to draw out the, sch the schematics of the engine. I can see how that might be intimidating. But what you want to do is, is put them in a situation where they have a basic understanding that, hey, if God forbid something happens, here is, you know, some basics you just need to understand. And then at least have an advisor or somebody that they trust. It could be a family member. It could be a financial advisor that they can actually call and make sure that they don't make any rash decisions or don't make any mistakes. So I, they would definitely um, that's something that's so important that unfortunately we see a lot. Yeah, and I think at the end of the day, if you came in and sat down with Rick and the team at Safeguard Investment Advisory Group and you wanted to talk about some of these topics, I need to get a plan in place. I, I need a little clarity in this area or whatever, because there really are no wrong answers when it comes into retirement planning. Really, the only wrong answer is not having a plan and then just going, I think I've got enough. I hope I've got enough. I hope it works out. Why not sit down with the team at Safeguard Investment Advisory Group? Find out where you are. doesn't mean you're, you're going to be a client. It's got to be a good fit for them, but it's got to be a good fit for you as well. This is a long-term relationship, and Rick Rivera and the team at Safeguard are here to help if they can. Again, that number with no cost to you is 800-700-1980. Again, I think it's one of the more important phone calls you'll make. 800-700-1980. Why spend more time planning for that two-week vacation than you will that 20, 30-year retirement? That doesn't make sense. Give the team at Safeguard and Rick Rivera a call at 800-700-1980. It'll be a great opportunity for you. Rick, I enjoyed it. Uh, enjoy the rest of the weekend. Have a great week. We'll do it again next week. Thank you so much, Mark, as always. Firm offers insurance services. Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, LLC, is a registered investment advisory firm. Investing involves risk, including the potential loss of principal. Any references to protection, safety, or lifetime income generally refer to fixed insurance products, never securities, or investments. Insurance guarantees are backed by the financial strength and claims-paying abilities of the issuing carrier. This radio show is intended for informational purposes only. It is not intended to be used as the sole basis for financial decisions, nor should it be construed as advice designed to meet the particular needs of an individual situation. Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, LLC, is not permitted to offer and no statement made during this show shall constitute tax or legal advice. Our firm is not affiliated with or endorsed by the U.S. government or any governmental agency. The information and opinions contained herein provided by third parties have been obtained from sources believed to be reliable, but accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed by Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, LLC. This radio show is a paid placement.